Here we are, back for the second quarter of the under-14 Division 3 Beaumont's Pies and Cake Grand Final. As Bannockburn go into attack through captain Aaron Lucas, he drives the ball up forward. A chance here for the little fellow in Arclay. He gets onto his left boot, up towards centre-half forward. Punched away by the Invalid defence, but coming through strongly for the Bannockburn Tigers was the uh, Jordan McFadden. Intercepted well, another chance here for the Bannockburn Tigers in little Ashley Hope. Brad Howling's in there, he gets... Should be penalised for being caught in possession for mine. Playing yeah. very well over the in Invalid centre-half back, but a little casual on that occasion. The tacklers should have been rewarded. Oh, I think so, you might, might be right there, Ron. Anyhow, the ball goes up in here. Here's a chance for the little Bannockburn boy. Picks it up again, it's young uh, McFadden. Drives it up forward, a chance here. Kicked up in the air by Arclay. No in particular, punched away. Going in hard there is uh, Howling, he can't get it. A chance of soccer off the ground by the Bannockburns. Shane Dillon, and I'll tell you what, I think he's put it through, he has. Yeah, great opportunity, goal. Great yeah. goal. Shane yeah. Dillon has kicked the goal for the Bannockburn Tigers. Bannockburn go on to 1-1-7. One, one, Inverlee, 1-2-8. The margin, one point. As we've played just over a minute and a half of this second quarter. Proudly brought to you by Finance Planners Australia. Save money and time off your mortgage. Give Ronnie a brain a call on 0400 or our friendly staff on 1300 558261. Up goes the ball on the centre of the ground as the um, Bannockburn Tigers go into attack again. Towards the centre half for a quick kick is a chance for Rimbley. Don't wait for it, son. Go in and get it. I think it's Howling. He's tackled hard. Up by says, I'll have it. Ball up to take place. Up in ruck, it's the big captain of the skipper of the Bannockburn side. He can't get it away. Play on the call. Going in hard there for Imbali was Manganelli. Imbali get the ball. Here's a chance. Out there looking there, there for the little fellow in Muir. Can't get it in the van for Bannockburn. Picking the ball up there and a little handball across to his teammate who takes a bounce. Hawks, that's uh, young close. He drives the ball long up towards centre half forward. The back of the pack who's home is a chance here for the little fella running on Ashley Hope. What can he do? Little Ashley Hope goes bang and he puts it through I think. The little number six is gold for the Bannockburn Tigers. They kick their second. Bannockburn move on to 2-1-13 and Invalia 1-2-8. That was a great goal by the little fella running on there. Terrific play from up the ground too as Young Close bursting through from the centre half back line. Drove the ball forward. It's great to see. Three minute mark of the second quarter here of the under 14 Division 3 Grand Final 2006. Finance planners, the uh, second quarter scoreboard shows that Benny Fern five point leaders. Here we go, it's a chance again. Here come the Invalid through the agency of Viles. He gets the, the ball goes up towards his a chance and it's a mark here to him believe by little Roy Manganelli. Oh he's coughed it up. Bannockburn get possession. Here's a chance. There's a swarm of little Bannockburn Tigers and it's picked up there by McGann. He has a couple of bounces. Drop punch the ball up into the forward pocket. Running back for the point of the ball. Can't mark the ball with the Invalid side. A chance here for the little fella for Bannockburn. Here's a chance coming through. I think it's Brad Howling. He's got the ball the big centre half back. Long raking kick into the centre of the ground, but straight to his opposition, the skipper. The skipper of the uh, Bannockburn side. He gets the mark, and drives the ball long at the back of the pack. He's got it again. A handball over the top, that was uh, young Sturton. He goes out wide. Chance here for oh, slipping over the crucial stage. Here's a chance for Bannockburn as they get the ball clear, and that was young uh, Bath. Picked up there by the little fella, number six, and Ashley Hope. He goes out wide. To another little fella in little Timmy Arclay. Arclay a pass and he finds his teammate up there in uh, Thrills. He has a shot on running shot for goal but he's kicked it in to the big fella who's marked the ball in the goal square. Big Shane Dillon. Great team footy Bannockburn. Dillon goes bang and puts it through. He kicks his second goal. As we see Bannockburn move on to 3-1-19, Inverlee 1-2-8. And we've played five minutes into the first quarter of the under-14 Division 3 Beaumont's Pies and Cakes Cup. 
Well, great crowd here witnessing this terrific grand final. Good to see uh, young uh, Jordan McFadden's dad, Stevie. Good client of Finance Planners Australia. Enjoying, uh, well, the spoils of country footy. Here we go, Bannyburn into attack again through Aaron Lucas. He's been a star for him. So is this fella. Up in the forward line, Dylan, another mark. Drives it into the pocket, but coming through strongly for the Inverley Hawks was Pickett. He goes out wide, looking for his teammate out there. A chance, he runs onto it, overruns the ball, Viles. Coming in again, picked up by his teammate there, it's little um, Rayner. Gets it back to Viles, he handballs across, he, he finds his teammate out there in Carrar. He goes long, but oh, intercepting beautifully there for the Bannockburn side. Great mark by the young fella. And he looks out wide, I think it was young um, Tommy Bath. Bannockburn. Send the ball back up towards their half forward line. Dropping the mark there was a little fella in, looked like uh, the other Viles. The Viles, the Viles are brothers, we call them. Here's a chance for Inverley, the big Mick File at number 10. The Wade Kelly, here he comes, here's a chance. Up they go towards full forward. Who's there? No one's down. The little fella bursting through for Inverley with little Manganelli. Gets a ball picked up there and a snap for goal. I'll tell you what. What a great goal. The long sleeve jumper there, we'll just get him in a minute. Yep, the big number 11, he's put it through. Yep. Jordan Queer up. Great goal, great yes. individual effort. He was a good 35 metres out. Snaps over his left shoulder. And uh, yeah, a very handy goal. Second goal for the afternoon for the Inverlee side and a badly needed one. His brother would be very happy. A great senior player for the Inverlee footy club. Young career. As we check the score, we see uh, Bannyburn 3-1-19. In Bali, go on to 2 2 14. And we've played six minutes, six and a half minutes in the ruck there. The big fella in the ruck for In Bali. It's uh, Wade Kelly gone into the ruck now to try and combat the captain of the Bannockburn side in Aaron Lucas. Into attack again go the In Bali Hawks in the van there for the Bannockburn Tigers is Tommy Bath. Gets it out wide looking, trying to get the ball is little Dylan Tucker. Out come In Bali again, a lovely handball. Once again, it's Karaha, he's lifted him here. He goes across the ground, who's at the back of the pack? It's all Bannockburn, they lead in the race with the ball. Picks the ball up, goes with a kick out wide, out towards the centre wing, the race is on. It's gonna be a great duel here, the pace, magnificent running there from the young fellow in McGann. He gets around, magnificent play, drives the ball up towards the half forward line. Who's home, coming through strongly for the Inverlee Hawks. Defending beautifully there was the big fellow in um, Sturton. Here's a chance for Inverley, picked up there by Kelly. Kelly drives towards centre half forward. No mark, play on's the call. Going in hard there was young Nick Stone Husson, son of the legendary Peter Husson, one of the legends of Baker's Oval. Here's a chance for Bannockburn, they get the quick kick away. Out there wide on the ground, it's Oscar Harab after it. Little Oscar's got it. Go the Oscar. Oh, He's had a bounce. A oh, let move. him go. He's had Second two bounces. <laughs> oh, oh, Roddy Brain. He's a little Oscar, boy. Right. <laughs> oh. Yeah, great footy for the Tigers as we see now, though. Pack of players have formed 40 metres out from the Bannockburn goal. Umpire comes in to bounce down. Finance Planners Australia's second quarter scoreboard shows Bannockburn five point leaders. We've been travelling around eight and a half minutes of this second term. Packer plays again of form, pretty untidy stuff. Jordan McFadden though, picks it up, left foot kick up to the uh, forward pocket, sees the ball spill, but oh, he's all wrapped up. Oh, how did oh. he get it out? Squeezed it out to the little fella who oh, darts it. You what. And what a great goal. Team lifting stuff from the Bannockburn uh, Rover, Timmy, Timmy Arclay. I reckon he took that, that was like taking candy from a baby as he pitched the that. Steal of the and afternoon. And it ran into an open goal. Fair dinkum, it would have been an almond, it would have been a magnificent little bit of a nibble on the end of that. That was magnificent stuff by Timmy Arclay. Finance Planners Australia, second quarter scoreboard, 4-1-25, Bannockburn, they lead in Valley 2-2-14 in a very entertaining under-14 division three. Geelong Junior Footy League Grand Final, courtesy of Beaumont's Pies and Cakes, Guest Media, and of course Finance Planners Australia. Save you money and time off your mortgage. Yes, Ronnie, it's uh, fantastic, the uh, Finance Planners Australia, great sponsors of Geelong Junior Football. Here's a chance, in Valley, in the van here, the little fellow gets a little kick out towards the wing, a chance here for the Hawks, they can't get it going in hard there, once again, 
Here he is again, the little Timmy Arclay. He just kicked the last goal. He's had two bounces. He's running down the, towards the forward pocket. Drives the ball up, up they go. Oh, yes, great mark. Big Brad Howling, the rock of Gibraltar, the pebble of Eastern Beach at centre half back. Oh, what a mark, a beautiful mark there taken by Jordan McFadden. Played very well, brought a smile of uh, Dad Steve's face as yep. he comes in from 50 metres. The kick, a long high drop punt up to the goal square, back of the pack. Who's there? The Tigers mop up. Quick shot at goal. Anthony Close, I think you'll find, has kicked his first for the afternoon. And number 50 for season 2006. Great goal, Bannockburn. Yep, fantastic goal from young Anthony Close. Anthony's kicked his 50th goal. He came fifth in the um, goal kicking awards in the under 14 Division 3. Brad Howling was runner up with 48 goals. Brad's playing at centre half back. Maybe they may have to move Brad up to the forward line to sort of get a bit of um, lift there for the Inverley boys. Well, time check shows we've been travelling 11 and a half minutes of the second quarter. Finance Planners Australia scoreboard shows the Bannockburn now leading by 17 points. Ball now kicked forward. Bannockburn with a bit of a run on here. Chance for the Tigers through Tommy Biggs, the vice captain. Kicks to half forward. Looking there for Timmy Arclay, who's been a live wire late stages of the second quarter. But gee whiz, in the league. Without Brad Howling at the, the Rocker Gibraltar at centre half back, brings the ball back to centre half back. And uh, well, Bannock Boom with plenty of numbers at the footy here, Brian. They sure have as they go into attack here. Here's a chance. Invalu, the big fellow, he can't pick it up. It's Manganelli. He's outnumbered the little fellow from Bannock Boom in Warpool. Gets a kick for straight into the hands of the big Mick Pile at number 10 and Wade Kelly. The umpire said. Great tackle. Great tackle. Jordan McFadden. Been busy this quarter. The son of Steve. Son of Steve drives the ball up towards the half forward flank. I think it came off the head of number six there, the little fella. It was Ashley Hope. I reckon we've got a nickname for Jordan McFadden. Sauce. Sauce, the son of Steve. The sauce. Sauce McFadden, we'll call him. <laughs> you little beauty, Ronnie Brain. Well, playing very good football here in the second quarter at the Western Oval. Tigers lead by 17 points over the Hawks. Again, great work, uh, Aaron Lucas got it to ground. Biggs drives it forward, but I'm in front again. Guess who? That man, Brad Howling. Tremendous mark. Howling comes towards the centre, and here comes his counterpart in Little Peel. He's a great little player when he gets going. Peel drives the ball up towards centre forward. A great punch away from Booth for Bannock Boone. But intercepted well there by, I think it's Manganelli. He gets a chance into an open goal, and he goes bang. He's put it through. Callum Lotting. Callum Lotting, the little number nine, runs into an open goal for Inverley. And they move on to 3-2-20. They're trailing Bannockburn 5-1-31 by 11 points. Badly needed six-pointer for the, uh, the Hawkers. We've played 13 and a half minutes into this first quarter of the under-14 Division 3 Beaumont's Pies and Cake. Premiership Cup. Well, again, conditions absolutely perfect. No breeze, no sun. It's just perfect for the greatest game in the world, Australian Rules footy. Umpire in uh, Dale Palmer, I think you'll find, will put the ball down to ground. Chance here now for the youngster in Ashley Hope. Good support, though, from McFadden. Good old sauce, got it out to his teammate there in Biggs, the vice captain. Squeezes the ball forward. Again, Hawks though, stand firm. Howling it was. Lost the footy. Good work there, Joel Lucas. Showed some courage. Gets the ball out now to the teammate, Arclay. Overrunning the footy there was Hope. Good pressure there from the Hawks' defence. Still running hard at the footy. Howling comes in, gives support. Gets it forward. Great play. As we see now, the Hawks. Move the ball forward, looking there for a lead, can't quite get a handle on the leather, was the running and Jesse Manganelli, the centre half forward for the Inverley side, it's off his hands out of bounds, left half forward flank and the Hawks into attack, late stages of this second quarter, margin 11 points on the Finance Planners Australia scoreboard. Umpire throws it high in the air, just as the siren's about to sound here to end this quarter I believe. 
Chance here. Here's a chance for appeal. Yes. Siren has gone. Great quarter of footy for the Bannockburn boys. Kicking five straight for the term. And keeping Inverley to two goals for that quarter. And enjoy Brian at halftime. A very handy 11 point lead. Goal kickers first of all for the Bannockburn boys. Up to halftime. Shane Dillon with two. Singles to Ashley Hope and Timmy Arclay. Inverley, they're scattered between David Peel, Callum Lotting and Jordan Prera. Back to the action of that uh, third most vital premiership quarter of footy, what was by Finance Planners Australia in just a moment.